y'all my preppers it is your girl e denise the culinary motivator and today we are going to do something really special and fancy we have red snapper we have lobster and shrimp we going deep we going down deep into the sea today on prep to live ignorance that goes on in this kitchen we cut up so bad we leave cabinets open we shoot a whole episode cabinet door be like this just like that <laughs> this is a real kitchen all right so listen i told you we are making this amazing stuffed red what is it called what's that thing called snapper red snapper <laughs> so i have the heat that just came on. All right, so y'all gonna hear some humming in the background? I turned the heat off, but it won't go off. <laughs> so we get ready to finish this up. Listen, this stuffed red snapper is gonna make you, it ain't gonna make you slap your mom. Oh no, you gonna slap your grandma. All right, so check this out. We have in here garlic butter with olive oil. What? And everybody loves it. It's, 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 a, it's delicious. You know, you just take some, some unsalted butter, uh, mince you up some um, garlic, and put it in there and let it just, you know, blend it all together with a little bit of olive oil. And you can actually make, you know, make your own butter. All right, so what I'm gonna do is I have coriander. We're gonna put that in there. This is cumin. I wonder where this basil came from. Mm -hmm. That would be my garden. Oh, basil. Love it. Chives, where did you come from? My garden. <laughs> Lemon, where did you come from? The store. Sorry. Not it. I got seeds to make my own lemon tree, but not yet. Just a squeeze. That's it. And you know what's getting ready to happen. Nothing until I get to top. The marriage is about to begin. Okay, remember I said put this in the bullet and we was gonna mix the butter, the uh, basil, coriander, cumin, and, and chives with the garlic butter and nothing happened? Well, guess what? We're not gonna do it that way. We're gonna do it the right other way. I'm gonna stick my finger in here and pull it out. I know y'all like, what? This is a real show. We don't be faking. We don't be cutting and slicing. Well, my finger we did, but not the show. There you have it. Okay? There you have it. Because this is part of the stuffing. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen. Oh. <laughs> Preppers, you just have no clue what's going on in... Oh. The smell. I don't think I would have got the smell if I put it in a blender. So I'm glad. I'm really glad. Because now I'm up close in person. I'm as one with my food. I'm, I'm, I don't even know what to say. In this bowl is one medium lobster tail. That's what it is. That's the meat right there. And about a half a pound of fresh, deveined 
little vein thing is gone, you know, that little black vein thing. And it's just amazing. So what I'm gonna do is, this is our uh, garlic butter with a little bit of olive oil in there. We have basil, coriander, cumin, um, a sprig of, a uh, squirt rather, of lemon juice. And we have some chili powder in here. And we have chives. You thought that these two weren't gonna be together? In the smallest of ways. This is our stuffing. Yeah, this is it. Look at that. That's the stuff. Mm -hmm. So you're going to eat the fish with the fish and the fish. Oh, it's so fresh. Yes, yes. Oh, wow. So people, you really, if you can find a fish market, a real fish market. Like the men got boots on, they, you know, they just slouching around through water like it's nothing. And there's ice on the floor from where they got the fish and they throwing fish and cleaning it and scaling it and don't care that there's a scale on their eyebrow. That is the place, okay? You want fresh fish. Oh. And that's what we have. That's a fresh lobster tail. Now I'm not making it like so tiny because when I when you bite into it, I want you to know, whoa, that was lobster. I want you to know, oh, that's shrimp. So yeah, that's what we doing right now. Just making the uh, stuffing for our stuffed red flower. He looking at me right now. I can feel it. That flounder is looking at me right now. Mm-hmm. Did I say flounder? Okay, thank you, Brianna. Snapper. <laughs> Listen, flounder is his cousin. Flounder is on his mother's side, twice removed. But he is, he got the snapper side of the family. He's a snapper. I mean, red. His brothers and sisters don't have red, but he's red. Yeah, he's red. I forgot to tell you guys I was putting in some breadcrumbs, not just your any breadcrumbs. If you can find artesian breadcrumbs, then please, by all means. Um, if not, a good breadcrumb. It doesn't matter, panko or whatever. But yeah, just put a little bit in there to get that stick to itness. Um, because remember, the butter is gonna melt. All right? All right, it is time to put the snapper to bed. So here is the bed. Took a pan. Lined it with aluminum foil a lot because I want to end up covering up the snapper at first. And then the last few minutes, I'm going to uncover it. And it's just going to be amazing. Sprayed the pan with uh, like an olive oil spray. And now we get ready to put the mattress down. Huh? We got tomatoes, tomatoes. And I'm using all of this, people. Because you know the good thing about this? This is almost like a little side dish because it's gonna have the flavors of everything. Why am I being so nice? This ain't nice. This ain't, oh my goodness. Y'all look, please look, Brianna, bring the people in. Bring them in, Brianna, bring them in. I, I wanna get right on this. Bake me on this. This is what I call a, a peppery bed of ease. <laughs> Not a flowery bed of these. Okay, so we're gonna put a little salt and pepper on this. And that is all. That is all. Because, honey, you know what the flavor is. There we go. Now we're gonna lay down strings because, like I said, her little tummy gonna be so full, we're gonna have to tie her up. So I have three pieces of twine. Please don't go in your sewing cabinet and get no strain, y'all. It's not the same, I promise you. And, or if you don't want to stuff yours to the full, then you won't need uh, twine. But get some twine. It's always nice to have twine in your kitchen straw. You never know what you got to tie up. Anyway, here's the guest of honor. Here, and she, look how she fits in the pan. And she looking at me. Hey, Pooh. You just lay there. Cause it's gonna, I would say it's gonna hurt you worse than it's gonna hurt me, but I'm lying. But anyway, so. all right. So this is 
heaven on a, a spatula. Lobster, fresh lobster tail, shrimp. You hear what I said? I said basil, coriander, cumin, chili powder. Um, what else is in here? Chives, a little lemon, and artesian bread crumbs. Come on. And you just fill her up. People fill her up. Look, that's what we're gonna do? That's what we're gonna do today? Yes, that is. And the reason you like, girl, why you ain't remove the bones? Why you ain't remove the head? Cause that's where the flavor is. Once you take that stuff out, y'all, and the way I'm gonna cut it, you're gonna be all right. I promise, you're gonna be all right. Look at that. You, didn't I tell you she was gonna be full? Didn't I tell you that she, Put it up in her head. Why? We not eating her head. Mm -mm, she not getting none in the head. No, I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Oh, put it on here. Oh my goodness gracious. Now the thing about it is, you know it's gonna get plumper as it cooks. That is why, people. Look at that. Look at her. What am I gonna do with the rest of this? It's leftover, you think? No, watch this. We gonna pack it, you know what? Get out of here. We gonna pack it on top. Honey, she's wrapped up, tied up, and tangled. You can write this recipe down in the preference journal because you're going to get the recipe. Write it in there. Make up your list because there's room in the preference journal for just that. To make up your shopping list, get all the ingredients, and head out to the store so you can live your best life while you prep as a prepper. All right? Check us out on all social media. We are there. Remember, we're on Sundays at 5 and then we're on again Mondays at 7 on the Inspired Living Network on our Roku. We there. And we're going to be some other places. Keep on watching. I'm going to do one color of each. And... She fat. She, she, she fat. She fat. People, so I got the oven preheated, 425. Damn, she had on little, little rotted jeans. I had to pull the pants up. Um, 425 for about 40 minutes. There she is. I want to give her a name, but I don't know what to give her a name. You know, you gotta give, you can't gotta show respect. She needs a name. Uh, Fish Lisa. Fish Lisa, Felicia, I don't know. But I'm going to finish her off with a little bit of Old Bay and Black, cracked black pepper. Just a tad. If you notice, there ain't been a whole lot of salt and peppering going on here. People, you don't need it. That's why we put all those herbs in there. Can I get some of your olive? Gotta finish her off with just a little bit. And now, everybody say, bye bye. <laughs> so we want to not put this on her, because she don't like the covers right on top of her. <laughs> and we are going to wrap her up, and we're gonna cook her for a total of 40 minutes, but we're gonna cook her in here for about 25 minutes wrapped, and then maybe 10, 15 minutes on. You gotta look at her. You know? Now you gotta know that that stuffed red snapper needs a side chick. And here she is, right here. These beautiful asparagus. When I tell you I fell in love with them, you know, I didn't really eat them growing up. But now they're my friend. So we've got asparagus, we have some raw sugar. 
Um, this is my new thing. I use raw sugar, heavy cream, uh, white vinegar. We have homemade low sodium vegetable broth. Who made that? Oh, <laughs> me. Um, and what is this? This is lemon juice, fresh squoze, squoze by me. And of course, salt and pepper. So let's put this together, because this got to cook just a little bit in some boiling hot water. Shh. That's that water. All right, so I have trimmed the asparagus, got those tough ends off of it. Um, so now I'm gonna put it in a pot of boiling water, and in there is some a little bit of sea salt. Um, and we're not gonna do this very long because we don't want, I don't like soggy vegetables. Like, um, and sometimes I tend to make sure that they're done so I overcook them, but we're not gonna do that today. All right? So we're gonna let this do its thing for about two minutes. And then we're gonna put it, take it from here and put it into a bath. She's getting ready for a day. Uh, but a bath of uh, ice water to stop the cooking. I kept these in here for about three minutes and they are good. So I'm gonna put them in a bath of ice water because I want them to stop cooking. Any more cooking, they are going to get so mushy. I don't like mushy asparagus. So we're gonna do that. Let them sit for about two seconds, not long. Just trying to cool her off. She having a hot flash right now. Okay, so we need some sauce to go over that gorgeous asparagus. So I'm gonna make a lemony cream sauce. So we have, um, this is white vinegar, and we're just gonna put it in there. We have that uh, low sodium uh, vegetable stock, and lemon juice that I squoze myself. I'm a squoze. So we're really just gonna whisk this in just to uh, <clears throat> kind of put it all together, right? We want, I wanna let it, it's not a lot, which is great, but I want it to be just a little bit less because I have some other, you know, the heavy cream has gotta go in there. So we're gonna do that on like a medium high. Just cause we don't wanna burn it, but I do want it to reduce just a little bit. All right, so we're gonna add the heavy cream. You can't go wrong when you add heavy cream to stuff. There's a creaminess about heavy cream. And I've got this one. This one is, and I'll say the name because my dad used to work there for years, Farmland Dairy. So we have the heavy cream here. We definitely have to whisk regularly because you don't want that to curl or you know separate, but we want it to all to be together. Now, I've got some raw sugar. Remember I told you, and we'll talk about that um, on one of our episodes. So I'm gonna put the sugar in little by little and just continue to whisk. It's not a quiet situation, just to let you know. If somebody's sleeping in the house, they gonna wake up. Okay, so I did half and then I did the other half and I'm just really like, you know, giving it just some whisking love. Okay, so here I have three tablespoons of butter, unsalted butter. All right, you know how I am about salt. Um, you just put some sugar in here and we're gonna add a little bit of salt. And remember, the asparagus cooked in salt water. That's enough salt. All right, so I'm gonna put, I took the three uh, tablespoons and I cut it up into pats, pats of butter. And you want to put it in one at a time. It's not a lot of pats, as you can see. Um, just cut them up so that they're not a whole big chunk of, cause you know, on the, uh, the thing of butter, the wrapping, it tells you how many tablespoons. So you just want three, okay? Because you don't want this to, you want to make sure that that butter melts because this is going to thicken. And the longer it sits, the thicker it's going to get. And then you just pour it over that asparagus. Somebody's going to love somebody, I'm telling you. Somebody is going to be in love. Thank you. 
So our sauce is thickening, okay? Which is great, that's what I wanted to do and it will do that even more. Um, right now, I wanna add salt and pepper. Now, you guys know I love me some fresh ground pepper. Oh, there's nothing in the world better. But because I want this to be a white cream sauce, I'm gonna definitely add a little bit of salt, but I'm gonna add white pepper so that it stays that white creamy consistency or color, should I say. And guess what? I'm gonna keep on whisking. <laughs> and now I'm gonna take it off the heat and let it sit. And get what? Thick. Er. <laughs> Time to finish this asparagus. Mm. That cream sauce right there, we did that, people. We prepped the heck out of that. That's some good stuff. So I like to put it in like something small instead of just pouring it from the pot because it's just cuter. <laughs> like me. <laughs> why? Just tell me why. I'm, 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 I need a moment. I need a moment. A little parsley. Just mm. Brady Parm, of course. Oh, people, people. And a little lemon zesty, resty. I guess I should go that way. Lemon makes everything better. It smells so good in here right now. <sighs> okay, I'm back. Now let's pair it up with that stuffed and fresh red snapper. That is red snapper stuffed with shrimp, lobster tail, artesian breadcrumbs, and a truckload of peppers and onions and goodness and spice. <sighs> you ready to eat? I'm ready to eat. Come on. Because you know the sauce has thickened, right? Just because it was sitting. Whole red snapper stuffed with lobster shrimp, coriander cumin, uh, spicy sauce, uh, spicy seasonings on a bed of green peppers, yellow peppers, orange peppers. If they make them, we would have used blue peppers onion, and tomato. And of course, all of that's topped with lemon juice. Then we made asparagus with a creamy goodness, heavy cream. I don't know why I'm talking seductively right now, but this just makes me want to be by myself. <laughs> Let's eat this. Oh my God. I cut it with a knife down to the bone. And then I took this, these uh, amazing scissors, and I went in and I and cut to the bone, and that's how we got here. Enough of all of that. You don't know from here, I can't help you, because I'm getting ready to help myself. Lord, thank you for the fish in the sea. Lord, thank you for wherever asparagus comes from. Amen. Oh my, do y'all see that there is shrimp? Okay, I'm not gonna get too heavy. Oh my. All right, 
this right here is it. I got shrimp, a little bit of lobster tail, and the fish with a little bit of uh, yellow pepper. Where I'm going wrong? Where I'm going wrong? I can't. Let's try this asparagus with this beautiful cream sauce. The cream sauce, the lemony buttery cream sauce. Y'all going in the kitchen, go in the kitchen. If you don't go in the kitchen and make this and put that doggone recipe in this here book right here, I'm gonna fight you. This is Prepper's John. Amazon got them, get them. You don't wanna miss it. Oh, I love y'all to pieces. It's been real, but what I'm getting ready to do, I need to be by myself. I love you. I'm the Culinary Motivator. Check us out on all social media. We are there. Like us. Uh, hug us. Talk to us. Talk back. Tell us something. What you want us to cook? We will do it. Challenge me. Give me something. I'm listening. I'm waiting. And when you get this beautiful Prepper's Journal, take a picture with the journal, not just your hands holding it. So that I can see it and we can give you love. All right, everybody. I love you to pieces. This is Prep to Live. I'm your culinary motivator. And don't forget, you ain't in your kitchen. <laughs> you ain't. <laughs>